Good evening everyone. So today or tonight I'm going to give my um reaction about the archipelagic interiority uh, notes and reflections on poetic voice and trans writing in the Philippines. So the highlight regarding the exploration of the poetic voice and trans writing in the Philippines, it provides a platform for transgender individuals to share their stories, perspectives, and challenges, amplifying the voices of marginalized community. The exploration acknowledges the intersexuality of identities and the diverse cultural heritage of the Philippines, adding depth and richness to the narrative of transgender writers. It contributes to the visibility and representation of the transgender individuals within the literary landscape, challenging stereotypes and fostering more inclusive understanding of transgender experiences. Trans writing serves as a means of empowerment and self-expression, uh, self allowing transgender writers to reclaim their narratives, assert their identities, and challenge the societal norms. It sparks dialogues, challenges prejudices, and promotes acceptance, contributing to broader social change and the advancement of equality and inclusivity. The exploration of uh, the exploration um, really demonstrate the transformative potential of literary uh, literature and creative expression in fostering understanding, empathy, and societal progress for transgender individuals at, at large. So, in conclusion, the exploration of poetic voices in trans, uh, and trans writing in the Philippines hold immersed or immense value and significance. It provides platform for transgender individuals to share their stories, challenges, and triumphs, amplifying their marginalized voices and promoting visibility and representation by delving into, into the uh, intersectionality of identities and drawing inspiration from the rich cultural heritage of the Philippines. Trans writing, Philippines, uh, trans writing reflects the diverse experiences and nuances, nuances of Filipino transgender individuals. This exploration is not just about personal expression. It has the power to challenge societal norm, foster empathy, and promote social change. Through poetry and other forms of creative uh, writing, transgender individuals assert their identities, reclaim their narratives, and invite dialogue about gender, ed gender identity, and equality. The study of poetic voice and trans writing in the Philippines encourages society to critically examine existing norms and biases, ultimately paving the way for great, greater acceptance and inclusivity. Ultimately, the exploration of poetic voice and trans writing in the Philippines demonstrates the transformative potential of literature and creative expression. It celebrates the unique perspective and experiences of transgender individuals contributing to a more diverse and inclusive literary landscape while promoting understanding, empathy, empathy, and social progress. One of the highlights or one of, I think, is the reason why these transgender writers just uh, put their writings or their their pieces on a, a, a in the way of writing. It's because they are really um, judged by uh, the people around uh, surrounds them. Because me also, I am one of or part of the society which they call as the LGBTQI plus A community. Uh, we really experience the social inequality, uh, inequality in, in general, inequality in treatment, in, in, inequality when it comes to dealing with something. So I think these writers really explore the Philippines just for them to really know um, how this kind of places uh, really a threat or a threat this kind of people or these individuals.